got to have a little more graspy, you know, yep. you know, war eagle kind of thing to it. <laughs> but uh, no, we're really excited to be here. I mean, you know, I, I said this yesterday in the video I did. Uh, the thing about game day is there's only eight of them. And it's not just given out, it's earned. And, uh, you know, this team and this program has earned it by how they've played and what they've accomplished and what they're building and the energy, the jungle and the enthusiasm. Uh, this became a big game because of their success. Uh, you know, I can relate to a little bit when I was at when I was at Virginia Tech, uh, we were fortunate to host the college game day. It was against Duke. But if they didn't throw us to Duke just to play Duke, they threw it to Duke because they thought that it would be a good game. So uh, it should be a great environment. And, uh, they've got a very good team. Uh, you know, the thing about this season is real simple. Uh, when you look at elite teams in relation to the field, there isn't that big gap. But these two teams are two of the teams that are in that conversation and category of being the elite team. So this should be a, a terrific game and a great environment, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. When you look at Auburn and when you talk to Bruce, what, what, what stands out? You know, Bruce's teams all have a cer certain DNA, a certain toughness, a certain uh, stick to uh, This is a totally different team than their last year's team. I mean, last year's team was drive, kick, three, uh, long rebound. This year's team is drive, <laughs> kick, drive it again, get to the line, rebound a miss. Last year's team turned people over a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, as I look at the team in general, they have a toughness about them. They got a resiliency about them. I think the Ole Miss game was a perfect example of that. Uh, you know, I, everyone talks about like the schedule. I don't care about the schedule. You look at how a team plays. I always say, who is a team and how do they win? And this team clearly understands how they win. They win with toughness. They win with the physicality. They win with attacking you, playing downhill. Uh, and then getting in the glass. And, you know, when they're making shots, then they're really good. Uh, they're hard to play against. I would say you want to be a team that's hard to play against. You know, Auburn is a team that's hard to play against. So, uh, you know, I think that the DNA of their team is a lot, in terms of their toughness, is similar, but the, their, their identity is very different than it was a year ago. Did, did you think Bruce could get Auburn to this level? Or are you not surprised by what he does as a coach? Look, I mean, look, he's won at every le place he's been. And part of winning is is evaluating. Like, you know, and I think that what they've done a great job of, whether it was at Southern Indiana or whether it was at, you know, uh, Milwaukee or whether, you know, it was at Tennessee, is evaluating. You know, knowing who can play for you, your style of play, evaluating guys up. Because when you're building a program, you're not sexy to the best players. But seeing something in Brown, seeing something in Harper, uh, you know, seeing something in a Mac Lamore, uh, that's really important. That's really important. Uh, I knew he'd bring him energy. I knew he'd give him to play hard. I knew they'd be incredibly well coached and prepared. They'll understand what it takes to win. Uh, I think the greatest thing Bruce does is he will look at a team and his opponent and say, all right, where can I attack it? You know, what do I have to give? What am I going to take away? Where can we take an advantage of uh, in within the course of the game? And I think that's that's his genius. Uh, so uh, he's as good as any in doing that. So did I think he was going to win? No doubt about it. I mean, you got a world-class university with tremendous passionate fans and a commitment. Uh, you know, this thing right here, I mean... You know, a lot of guys have all those things I just said, and you don't get a chance to get one of those. And, you know, one play away from playing for championship. you got to be a little bit fortunate for that. But, uh, yeah, I, I knew he would win because that's all he's done. I don't know about if, if he won when he wore the, the Eagle outfit when he was the mascot at BC, but I guess they won there too. I told him, by the way, if you guys see him, because you see him all the time, if you see him wearing the same suit that he wore the other night again, all right, that's like a, that. I, I sent him a text message after the game. I said that one, forget about dry cleaning. That goes right to the guard. <laughs> uh, last year, you, you know, we lost those seniors and uh, Jared Harper. 